Hello everybody, this is Anne Marie. Wanted to stop by and share with you the mini album that I created for Scrapbooking with Me Boutique. I will put all the links so that you could go over to the store and check out the great products they have over there. This month's kit was the After Dark by Cray Paper, and it is a Halloween mini album. And here is the mini album that I created. I used um, a lot of things in my stash, but I used a lot of things out of this kit. Very nice. So what I did on the front of the cover is I took some molding paste, and I used the Tim Holtz Gothic stencil. And I applied that to a piece of, um, I think this book measures, let me see here, what it measures. I think it's um, six and a half by six and a half. It is six and a half by six and a half. It has a quarter quarter inch um, gusset in each of the, um, in between each of the pages inside. I didn't want it to be too thick. So um, what I did was did a quarter, and you can see that it does poke up just a little bit. There is one page that kind of is a little thick, but it's not too bad. I still, um, it, it's not, I, I tried to keep it really thin because I didn't want this to happen. So after I did that with the molding paste on this piece of six by six um, piece of black card stock, I added a bunch of ultra thick embossing powder onto it, but I only put like one, I think I did two layers on this, and I did this because I did not want it to have that smooth glassy look. I wanted it to have bumps and, and look, ugh, and I wanted it to bubble up. I wanted to give it that grunge look for the, um, the Halloween. So that's what I did, I didn't want it to be perfect. Um, and that's how it came out in a lot of parts. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but there's a lot of parts that um, are very bumpy. They're bubbly. They're just not smooth. So I did that. After I did that, I added some things that I had in my stash that was laying around um, these hands and um, this little uh, bug thing that's on here. Um... I think this was a ring and I cut the pieces off and stuck it on here. It was a plastic ring. Uh, the flowers I had in my stash, uh, I added some yellow, no, some orange and some clear beads and uh, splattered some of this bright aluminum arts. Um, it's like a, I forget the knit color of it, but it's like a bright neon green. Really like it. Um, and I had this piece in my stash too. So, and that was painted with the same uh, aluminum arts. Added these little flowers right here, and voila, there was my cover. And then on this, I just put some trim that I had in my stash. You can see, let me just make it so slow so you can see that. It's just some flowerette trim. On the inside, I used some Polaroids on this. I cut these out with some uh, with my silhouette. And then I put the, use these inside the book. They're not on every page, but they're on some. I just wanted to give it, I like that look. And this is very nice because um, later on, you, you know, when you, if you give this book to somebody or something, then you can, um, oops, let me, uh, this is kind of stuck. I'm going to have to get that off. I don't know what happened. But you can open these up and ex um, exchange the um, pictures in there if you would like. So um, these hold this down. So um, you can open it up and exchange them out and put them back in. Or you can attach them with some paper, um, some double-sided tape, and then close them up and it stays like that. It's either or. Um, this picture right here of the kitty was out of the um, sticker collection that came in the kit. And this is a button that I had laying in my stash and these two pieces were laying around too. This, um, I'm not even sure where this came from. It's not out of the kit either. Um, but I did a lot of layering here. I like the layered look. I just, I don't know. I like sitting here and just playing with the pieces. And what I do, too, to get to get ready for my albums a lot of times, I take my um, sticker collection, if they're stickers, um, 
and I'll layer them on a piece of cardstock and then cut them out. And I lay them off to the side. And then I can pick up and, you know, layer and see what I'm going to like. Um, after I cut a couple of pieces out and I have a bunch of little pieces left for this, then I use the scrap pieces to do a lot of layering. So you use a lot of the pieces up and, you know, you keep those uh, full pieces. And I still got several sheets. Let me show you. I still have several sheets left over. I have that, that, I have, there was two of the, I, there was two sheets of everything, and I, um, and I still have this piece left, and you can see this is the ephemera card, there's a piece of this left, and I still have this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece, and you can see that this album is very decorated and that's what I like about this layering technique and I still have lots of scraps so I have I am still going to be able to make some more projects out of this and I did make the witch's hat which is a previous video I only used I think one or two sheets on that not very much um, small pieces and then I've made this, and I still got all of this left to do um, some more projects, and I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. So look at what I'm getting out of this for the kit. I mean, it's awesome. And like I said, these were something out of my um, stash. The washi tape was something out of my stash, but it probably came, most likely, um, I'll probably tell you it came out of a kit somewhere, and it was in my stash, and I just used that. So here is this page right here, used a Polaroid on this one, and you can see you can get these out, put your picture in, and then it holds it back down. I used the sticker collection, I used this little um, spider and the spider web, and then I have this one in my stash and I added that on there too, and then some flowers that I had. This one has a tag right here so they can write on if they would want or add more pictures. Did a lot of layering, used a, um, a punch here, and then just layered um, a couple of pieces on here to decorate it up. Some pages I have used a whole piece of um, paper and covered the back. Some I left black on the back, you'll see, and did some doodling. So, I mean, there's just so much, and I still got all this paper left. So I can, you know, you can decorate as much as you want. But this book by no means is empty. It is full and it's it's decorated up and looks really nice here I took the stickers out of the collection um, in the crow cut a circle out with a die I had laying around this is a sticker this is something I had in my stash just laid up there this is a flowerette that I cut out out of the Tim Holtz um, die you can buy your Tim Holtz dies over at the boutique also this is a witch's hat I had in my stash I did not attach this all the way, so that way you can stick a tag back here. And there's a little ghost on that tag. Really cute. And I just put a strip of paper. Like I said, utilize all of your um, your scraps. Use, use them up. You can decorate this. You can even go back and decorate the backs if you want. Then I used a white gel pen and went around and did some doodling to um, enclose and frame in the page and bring it in. So I really like that. On this page, I did a couple more tags. Um, they can put a picture on here, right on the back. They could add all pictures. It's whatever they want to do. I used a punch here. These little felt bats were in, a, in somewhere in my stash. I just added those. Whole piece of paper here. Not much layering going on here, but you don't see it. It's, you know, got the, the um, gate on the bottom. And then some eyelash trim I had in my stash that is old as, I don't know, it's probably forever. Been 10 years, 5 years since I've had that stuff. On this page, I used a Polaroid again. I um, did a lot of layering here, right here with this, um, the stickers. And added this hap Happy Halloween and then it, uh, one of the tags that came with the um, sticker collection. And this is the sticker collection. And like I said, I layer these on some cardstock that I have laying around scraps. I don't throw them away. And then I cut them all out, the ones I think I'm going to use the most. And 
I start layering. And then everything that I have left, I will stick this back into the um, paper and I will um, put the ones that are loose in there. And then I'll have them if I'm going to do something else. But right now, I've got this out because I'm going to do some more projects and share with y'all. So, I'm just going to leave it out for now. Then I added this little cute banner up here and the stickers that say boo came off the letter set right here. So really cute. And like I said, this opens and closes. Some washi tape right here. And then some doodling around here. Here's another page right here. You can see a, just layering just a piece here. I This was a circle I cut in half. I embossed it with one of Timmy's um, embossing folders. Um, those are available over at the boutique also. And then I just layered with all of these stickers. And look at, it's full. I mean, there's a room for a picture. It's got some decorations. I really like the way it came out. So there's that page. And then this page right here is just a piece of the cardstock that came in. And I just embossed a piece of scrap that I had laying around of um, vellum. And then I wrapped some twine around it. And then this little frightful um, Tim Holtz this pumpkins for 25 cents. It kind of looks like a coin, so I thought that was pretty cute. Put that there. And on this page, same thing, just some layering. These were pieces that were in the, the um, card part. I don't know what. This piece right here had a lot of pieces, and then it had um, things in here. And what I did was I just cut them out like this and just stuck them on here. Um, got more out of the paper. So use your imagination and do some layering and you know just stick it there. It just looks so cute. I really love it. So then this piece is not attached. It's just there and then that holds this piece down and then this piece holds it down also. You can see it just goes like that. This is this piece out of the sticker collection that I used. I backed them and the pumpkin. This is something I had in my stash. So I just used it. But all of this is just paper that I cut and I just layered it. Then on this page right here, this is the same thing. Use that car those cards that were in there. I cut some of these pieces out. I did a lot of layering with it. Use some punches I had in my stash. Make you some different, um, you know, edges and just slide them in there. Pieces out of the um, ephemera. Then I cut this pumpkin out. It was a card. Here's the card right here, still sitting there. And I just cut them out and I made a piece of ephemera out of them and stuck him down here. And it's really cute. <clears throat> you could add glassy accents on this. You could use the ultra thick embossing enamel on top of it. So really, really cute. Love it. Just a little layering does a lot. And then on the last page, just added a couple of strips here with a piece of the um, ephemera cut out here. This is a sticker out of the collection, backed again, laying down the October banner with the 31 sticking down. Did a lot, I uh, did the gel pen going around and then colored it in to give it a different look. And voila, there's the back cover. And you have an adorable little mini album to house some cute pictures of your grandchildren, your children, a friend's children. So I'm really glad that you stopped by and took a look at my album. I hope everybody has a great day. And please go over to the boutique and check it out. The links will be below in the comment, uh, in the description. So I hope you have a great day and bye-bye.